Hello there, everybody. I am Above Average Cody, and welcome back to another Friday vlog. And uh, quick heads up, today we're going to be doing a lot of moving around, because as promised in last week's vlog, we are going to be showing you my animals. And uh, I figure I would just do a quick sit down and tell you guys what I have for animals first, and then we'll go show them. I'll tell you a little bit about them, and uh, maybe we'll try to get them to do something interesting, but it's unlikely because everyone around... Uh, Everyone around the above average Cody house is pretty uh, lazy, if you will. But uh, before I show you guys the animals or even tell you what they are, go down below and subscribe, guys. We are 82 subs, I think, at the time of recording this. We were 80 away, but two people unsubbed, but uh, whatever, their loss. Um, 82 subs from 1,000, which is our major goal and the number we need for monetization. So be sure to be a part of that. Go down below, completely free. And while you're down there, drop a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking of the above average vlogs. Let me know what you think of my cute little animals we have running around in my lovely home. Alrighty, so for animals, what I have is we have a dog whose name is Rex. He is uh, fat. He's very fat. That's the first thing I could think to say to him. But uh, he is so awesome, and we'll talk about more when I show him. I have a cat, which is my lovely cat. I got her as a kitten. Her name, wait for it, is Meatloaf. That's right, her name's Meatloaf. We refer to her as Loaf, though, because when balled up, she looks like a lovely gray loaf of bread, and it is fantastic. And then finally, we have the boys. We have two lovely chinchillas technically considered an exotic animal so something cool that you may not always see or maybe you haven't seen uh, i definitely have a lot of friends come over who have never touched a chinchilla or seen one and let me tell you guys it's fantastic but uh we'll talk more about that when i show you them their names are chili and pepper and uh let's go see which animal we can hunt down first and to start we have the lovely meatloaf wondering what the heck we are doing but uh yeah this is my baby loaf uh i did get her as a kitten years ago fantastic cat used to be an absolute nutcase bonehead high energy cat but now as with just about every other cat she sleeps all day look at that little cutie uh, you may notice you don't recognize this room. This is my sister's room. She actually still does not live here, which is fine. But Loaf still gets to hang out on the bed, which is great for her. So, yeah, we actually drove pretty far. My mom's friend's cat actually had kittens. Had, like, a ton of kittens. There were, like, 20 kittens, guys. And, uh, they... We let them out of the cage to see which would, uh, want to hang out. And only one single cat chose to come out of the crate and visit me but yeah literally every single cat we were in like this kitchen like this square kitchen there's hairs flying everywhere because i was just petting her she's looking up at the camera but uh there was a square kitchen and literally like 19 of the 20 kittens all hugged to the edge of the cabinets to hide and avoid all the people and uh little loaf is the only one that came out to see me so uh it was an easy choice we took that one and ever since uh she's obviously been a fantastic cat and i'll spare you guys how i talk to my animals but uh oh such a sweetheart Oh, she's the best. Come on, Loaf. Give him a stretch. Give him something before we move on to the, the fat boy downstairs. No, that's it. She's one chill cat. Coolest cat east of the Mississippi, ladies and gentlemen. Meatloaf. All right, guys. You've met the chillest cat east of the Mississippi. Now get ready for the fattest dog east of the Mississippi. Look at this dude. And don't worry... Our, our Rexy boy here is on an exercise plan. Dude, this one's an easy one to record because Rex just loves attention. Look at this dude. Rex, what's up? You good boy? Oh, yeah. Look at this dude. Look at him. Ooh, tired? You tired? Rough day sleeping all day? This is literally how I talk to him all the time. But uh, he's on an exercise plan. We run him around the yard. I've been taking him for walks, and uh, he's on some diet food. We're controlling his food. But, uh... Rex, we actually got him from, and again, one of my mom's friends actually took him from the, oh, from the place he was living, because uh, they weren't the best owners to him, but he is still the chillest dog ever. You could literally do whatever you want to him, and he will not mind. He loves all the attention, and we are very good to him here. Uh, we've never let a dog sleep on our couch, ever. All the dogs we've owned in my life, and uh, here he is, living the life of luxury. Yeah, Rex, you good boy? Huh? Camera shy, huh? It's okay, Rex. But uh, that's Rex. He's a hefty boy, but uh, stay tuned to see if he loses any weight in the uh, near future. All right, guys. Here they are. 
chili and pepper obviously very hard to record and get the camera to focus but here are my two fantastic chinchillas kind of an interesting story how we ended up with these two baby boys chili and pepper that is pepper that is chili i am pretty confident it's easy to tell when you've been with them for so long um but it's kind of hard when they're all scrunched up and chilling like that but uh We'll try to, we'll give them a treat or something so maybe they do some interacting. But yeah, all they do is cuddle when they sleep. But uh, how we ended up with them is some, my girlfriend actually works at a pet store and somebody relinquished them. Oh, there's Jilly. Somebody actually, oh, they're kissing. Somebody relinquished them to the pet store and they needed a home. And I was able to get both for a reasonable price with the giant cage and all the platforms, which they need more of a verticality difference to, uh, to, kind of enjoy themselves and exercise but uh yeah we've had them for oh god i want to say maybe two years now i'm really not sure but yeah they're fantastic they've grown much bigger since we've gotten them they're such cool animals and there's i could do a whole video alone talking about them but uh i'll spare you guys the details kind of just show you them for now show you that i have them and they are just so cool and literally the softest creatures on the planet they're not too fond of being touched but don't worry it doesn't harm them and they don't mind too much but uh yeah they're cool they'll sit on your shoulder probably not for long ours are nut cases so they jump off uh they have a wheel down bottom of the cage that they run on very often uh, i have to flip it at night because they keep me awake but uh let's get these two boys a treat because they sure love treats all right i could not find the hello there could not find the treat so we'll be giving them a timothy twist a little hay bundle to chew on uh here you go, guys. Whoever gets it, Pepper wants it. And that's pretty much what they do. They like to use their hands to hold what they eat. And then they fight over it, and then they knock it to the bottom of the cage like the ungrateful fluff balls that they are. And then he'll be looking for another one because they are silly. But, uh, ow, bit my fingernail. But they're awesome. There's the wheel. They're very well versed on the wheel. There you go, Chili. Get on the wheel. Is he going to run on it? Nope, he's going to completely dodge it. And they're chewing on their Timothy twist. So I will leave them to it. All right, guys, hopefully I covered just about everything you guys want to hear about. If you have any other questions about Rex, Loaf, or Chili and Pepper, let me know down below in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Or if you want to see more of my animals or anything else in this video, uh, just let me know. I'm more than willing to. Um, hopefully this was a fun Friday vlog for you guys. I felt like it would be cool because... Again, not many people have seen chinchillas, uh, and of course I love my cat and dog, so I thought this would just be a cool, silly vlog to do for this Friday, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and that's about all there is to it today. Uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, again, feel free to talk to me in the comments about chinchillas, or any animals for that matter, and uh, be sure to subscribe down below and leave a like while you're down there, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, and stay happy and stay healthy.